going on guys welcome back commentary for you so today really marks more than a week that Chantal has been back in Canada and we've really not seen anything from her other than a couple of live streams citing she's going back to Kuwait and of course I had to go to the hospital none of this though in my opinion actually helps her health none of it as we'll talk about in a moment has actually helped her channel but I wanted to step back and just kind of talk about the direction Chantal had tried to go with her channel and taken a look at some things that clearly have not worked. So obviously a lot of her recent content has revolved around not just food, but much like a squirrel would be, you know, the gathering of the food, going out to the market, going and doing all the grocery hauls. And she tried to pivot a lot of this as, you know, these are healthy options. This is what I'm doing to get my health back on track. And she almost kind of had this skewed mindset of if I make something, then it must be healthy. And if I make it, then I can eat greater portions of it and be okay. And we saw this happen a number of times, no matter what the caliber of food was, be it the shepherd's pie, be it pasta, anything she made, she would kind of eat in these mass quantities. These fajitas that weren't even fajitas are a prime example. So to me, she was constantly kind of pushing herself in the direction of, you know, food is everything that my channel is about. And of course, when you do that, you start to really push yourself into a box and change what you can do. We also saw that she really couldn't get away from fast food. So when she orders out, whether it's takeout, whether she's going to get something, whether Sala brings it back, you know, there was a reaction she had to these foods that was unmatched by anything. I mean, her lust for this burger is clear. Beyond that, anytime she would come online, even with live streams, there had to be food involved. She couldn't just come online and talk and share. She had to come online and have food. A lot of times, this example specifically, she was trying to leverage, oh, it's Ramadan. I wasn't eating, which we now know wasn't true, and sitting there and just continuing to eat and eat and eat on stream as if she hadn't ate, but really, we now know, based on her own words, that wasn't true. Going back to her travel vlog, because I think this is very telling, you know, one of the focuses in this vlog is the food, the sandwich that made her sick, going around the airport. But immediately upon returning, she's showing fast food restaurants. I mean, instantly. One of the first things she recognizes at his home is this fast food restaurant, the Swiss Chalet. The first place she goes is a fast food restaurant, orders food, and then goes to another restaurant and orders food there. Now, all of this culminates in someone not caring for themselves, someone not putting the best options in their body and of course we have the i spent a day in the hospital video which i believe she did completely for attention and to garner views now the challenge Chantel has which is rather unique is we can look and see this hasn't worked the last two weeks of her channel have quite frankly been probably the worst two weeks she's had in years you know i've talked about it a couple times that the amount of views she's getting right now is not sustainable to the type of travel she wants to do, the type of living arrangement she's claiming she wants, being out on her own. But I would actually offer those views are not indicative of the amount of views she would need just to sustain the food that she's getting through takeout, the fuel that she's using driving all over, whether it's Canada, whether it's the U.S., or moreover, if she was just going to make this food. I think we all know that there's been kind of this undertone that Chantel has kind of pivoted away from couples channel, going out and doing things in real life, vlogging, if you will, and slowly kind of become more along the lines of what is deemed feeder content. Someone that comes online with the sole intention of eating, sole intention of mukbanging, and doesn't really have any other purpose. The challenge Chantal has with that is her mukbangs have never been entertaining kind of as a standalone. She's always had to be dependent on something other than her personality, be it story times, be it drama, be it news she wanted to talk about, current events. And a lot of times because she really wasn't well versed in what was going on in those things, she would just kind of read a snippet, read a headline, watch something on TikTok. You didn't actually get anything of true value from her. You were just kind of getting what she thought or assumed more than actual facts and information. So she's really seen a very sharp decline 
not just in her views, but also as we can see in her health. And that's kind of what I wanted to close this out because Chantal has constantly kind of said, hey, my health took a turn for the worse. Hey, things are taking a turn for the worse. This to me isn't a turn for the worse. I don't think Chantal can actually put in her mind what is the worst. A lot of us know, you know, the loss of a limb, the loss of your vision, you know, terms of being bedbound, needing full-time assistance in terms of your care. You know, those are worst case scenarios. And we've seen people in this community, Jen as an example, have to go through those things. That is worst case scenario. Chantal right now is mobile. She's driving. She's traveling. She's able to make decisions on her own. She's able to eat as she sees fit. And you can see not only is she continuing to make poor choices, she's projecting that this is the worst I can be. When we all know that's not the case. This is, however, someone's life that right now is fully revolving around food. I, in retrospect, went back and watched the video of her flying back. And I just try to put myself in that position. You know, when you've been away from home, whether it's a month, whether it's a year, whether it's a week. How often do you symbolize the restaurants you're going to, the restaurants you drive past, as what connects you to home? I think for a lot of people, it's, you know, where you live, it's your local town, it's your friends, it's your family, it's your own bed. You know, there's so many things that bring the concept of home to you. There's so many things that when you're not at home, those are the things you miss. For some, it would be their pets, which Chantal has given away. So when you look at it from that lens, the only thing she's living for is food. And clearly right now, she's at a position where her channel is suffering immensely. Her income is tanking. And she really does need to go through a transition or a reinvention of herself to bring interest back. Because I think when you look at this and see that the hospital plea, which is a cry for help, which is a pay attention to me, not just from her audience, but from her parents, from Sala. When that doesn't work, it shows there's a real problem. There's a bigger problem because nothing is working. Your food halls, your cooking, your mukbangs, the only comfort even to her own acknowledgement she has is in food. And you're not going to be able to sustain a channel this way, but more importantly, you're not going to be able to sustain your life this way. It's going to be a very hard lesson. I think Chantel right now from a financial perspective is in the midst of learning it. You know, again, I don't think it can be understated. We're talking about someone who two years, three years removed from making $20,000 a month is probably now realistically struggling to make that in the full year. And don't get me wrong. There's no sympathy there. This is a person that solely has herself to blame. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video as a bit of a surprise. I've taken the time away from Chantal to do a little bit more true crime. A lot of people ask me to do that. So obviously, you know, I'm a big sports fan. I would hope that you are a sports fan as well. So I've cultivated a couple of stories that integrate sports and true crime. Talked about some stories that maybe you might not be aware of stories. Honestly, I wasn't aware of until I learned of them. I'm going to put them up for my members only over the weekend, and I can't wait to see the reception that you guys have. Love to know your thoughts on this. Top comments from the last video. You know I will be back soon as I can with more commentary.